Hi everybody, I wanna talk a little bit today about how to use VoiceOver to access screen recording on your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, this is intended for instructors who may be visually impaired and using VoiceOver themselves, or um, this is actually a really great remote instruction activity to do with your students. So you can remotely teach them how to use the screen recording function on their um, Apple device and then they can actually, you can give them a task and they can record themselves doing the task and then share it with you so that you can give them feedback. Another great way to use screen recording during this remote instruction time is let's say they're having to do something for a class um, and they keep getting stuck using voiceover in the same place over and over again, they can't figure it out. Well, you're not there in person, and I think we're all realizing really quickly how difficult it is to, you know, really see what a student is doing um, on a video conferencing platform um, if they're accessing voiceover or, um, you know, some type of screen reader technology and the student's blind, they don't know how to orient things towards the camera. Um, so that you can actually have the student record their screen, exactly what they're doing on their iPad or their iPhone or their iPod touch, and then send it to you. And then you can give them some feedback around like, oh, you just need to change the router setting there or something like that. Um, so I hope this video is helpful uh, to a range of people. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn voiceover on. Voiceover on, landscape. Okay, so the first Home thing button to the left, FaceTime. You're gonna have to do is double tap to open. Is you're actually going to have to um, activate screen recording. So um, the way you're gonna do this is the settings app. Now, it, as long as your student has um, a device that's still updating and has been updated, you know, sometime in the last year or so, they're going to have screen recording is going to be an option for them. It was introduced in iOS 11. So if your student is running something earlier than iOS 11 or you're running something earlier than iOS 11, it's not going to work. Um, so that might be a good opportunity to get a student's device up, updated as well if you feel like you need to use this feature. So I'm going to go to my settings app. Settings. Three new items. And I'm going to double tap. Double tap. Settings. Screen and then I'm already on control 14, center, four, but if the student needed to, to of navigate um, on the left side of the screen, they can swipe up and down with three fingers um, to move page by page, or they can swipe left to right. Select screen to move do not item disturb. by screen. item. Select control display and brightness. Control center. Control so center. Heading. Now I've moved to my control center, and I'm going to. Um, Swipe right until I get to customize controls. Swipe down for access with allow X customize controls button. And then I'm gonna double tap there. Add and organize additional controls to appear in control center. So um, I'm going to uh, swipe right through these options. The student can also flick up and down with um, three fingers to move more quickly like page by page. I already have screen recording set up. Um, obviously, because I'm actively screen recording right now, but I'll show you how the student can do it if they don't. In flashlight, reorder fl timer, reorder camera, reorder access, reorder magnif, reorder screen recording. So you can see that's where my, sc my screen recording is already under the included um, con control center widgets. Um, but if they don't already have it included, um, I'll just give an example, so I'll add a different one. So. Um, I'll add my alarm to my um, control center. So I'm going to go down here to more controls. Reor more controls. Heading. And then screen recording should be one of the options in your student's list if they don't already have screen recording set up. So I'm going to go. Insert alarm button. If I swipe right once, then it says insert alarm. Yep, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to double tap there. Insert alarm. More controls. So now alarm is in my control center. Um, so I'm going to go uh, hit the home button to go back home. Settings. Three new items. And I um, also really like this uh, activity here because it's another opportunity to talk about ear cons with your students. So to activate the control center, um, you're going, you actually have to have the student drag one finger from the top of the screen and um, they're going to wait to hear the second tone 
Um, so there's multiple level of tones and I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So if I scroll um, one finger from the top of the screen down, oops, excuse me. So Control um, airplane mode. So you heard Switch the button. boop boop. Off. The second one, Double if I lift my finger, work. is the control center. So let me do that again. FaceTime. Photos. Control center. Airplane mode. So it's, a, it's a slightly higher tone. It's like boop, boop. And that second tone is actually the one that the student is listening for. So they're dragging one finger from the top of the screen. And when they hear that second down, they're going to immediately lift their finger and their control center is going to be open. Control center, airplane mode, switch button. Okay, so the first thing um, you might want to have your student do is actually turn on airplane mode potentially because that'll um, stop other things from sort of coming in like text messages they might not want you to see and things like that. They've got to have their Wi-Fi on and they can turn the Wi-Fi on even if airplane mode's on. Um, but the student's just going to swipe through until they get to the screen recording. Airdrop Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, shell media, roots of it, previous, play, next, lock, root, do not just, brightness, volume, screen mirroring. So screen mirroring, sometimes people get confused, especially students. Screen mirroring is something different. That's if you want to share your um, device screen to like an Apple TV. Um, like if you're watching something on Netflix on your phone and you wanted to share it to your TV screen. Um, so they want to keep going past screen mirroring. You, flashlight, timer, camera, select, magnet, selected, screen recording. Okay, screen button. recording. So, double um, tap and hold to show. So, the first thing you want to teach your student here is when they, so I can't actually do this because I have screen recording going on and I don't want to stop the recording accidentally. Um, but this is another opportunity to teach a different gesture that maybe the student doesn't use all the time. So, the first thing I want to do is going to be a um, double tap and hold. So one finger double tap and hold. Don't lift the finger. Just like one, two, and on the second tap, hold that tap. Um, and what that's going to do, it's going to bring up a little um, separate menu. And that's actually where your student is going to be able to um, turn their microphone on. So if you want to be able to hear the student's voice or, or you want the student to be able to hear your voice um, during a screen recording, they have to turn their microphone on. It's not on by default. So they can just record their screen and you'll, you will hear voiceover. You'll hear all the internal sounds of the iPad, but you won't hear external sounds like the student's voice unless they have that on. So they can swipe through that little um, menu and then double tap to turn their microphone on. Um, and then it's also going to give the options of where they're going to save their um, re screen recording. I recommend just saving it to photos. That's the default. Just leave that there unless the student's pretty advanced and wants to save it somewhere else. Um, so to get out of the control center, um, you can just do the two finger scrub. You know, I usually teach students if they have like a concept of print, you know, it's like doing a sort of quick Z with two fingers on the screen. Open controls, um, FaceTime. So once the student has um, a screen recording, like you've given them a task, like, hey, I want you to record your screen. I want you to show me how you can use voiceover to um, get to uh, Google Doc that I shared with you in read heading by heading, let's say. Um, so they've done their screen recording. Cal photo, camera. And Double you can photos. go over the photos app then. So when they're ready to share that with you. Photos, album, my, see all, recent, 168 photos. Um, so I'm photos. going to go to my recents. Photo, landscape, and video, video. This is actually an earlier seconds, video that I created. 12, 26 p.m. Image. Possible text, 6, 54. Video, video. Um, so I'm going to double tap button. to activate it. And then um, I'm going to have, then I would have the student swipe right. Share button. To the share button. Okay. One video select. So often these videos that your students are going to be creating are going to be much too large to send via email. So... I think the best strategy, if the student is using Google Drive, is to have them upload the video to a folder on Google Drive that you've shared with them. Um, so 
if you've shared a folder with them and they upload the video into Google Drive um, folder that you've shared, then you're going to be able to um, see that video immediately. So how they would do that is they're going to swipe. Close. Photos selected. Video airdrop button. And that's the video that I want. So that's what I've got selected. And then I'm going to mail one note. Continue button. to scroll. Notes. Drive. Till I get to drive. Okay, so I'm gonna double tap there. Account man. Choose. And then I have multiple you, accounts, so I'm gonna select selected. my Gmail account. Cancel. Button. Okay, so I'm gonna swipe to the right. Upload. Button. So don't hit that, don't have the student hit that yet until they set where they want it to upload to. RP replay underscore final. One, five, eight, five, six, seven, two, zero, zero, six. So that's the name MP4. of. 790 the video um so i'm going to continue to swipe a at gmail.com yep that's the correct um gmail account so i'm going to swipe one more time my drive button okay so this is where change the folder that you can actually change the folder that you want the video to upload to um so that is again if you have a shared folder with the student and they upload it into your shared folder you're automatically going to have it too so i'm going to hit my drive close Button. So these my are all the folders search button in my drive. Grid AER access. Um, so I can, uh, you know, scroll ASF through. Def block diagram center work leap folder. See all Mod the folders that I have in my drive, and um, let's say that, let's say that this particular um video leap um or this uh folder called leap is the one that. Um, I'm going to upload my um, video to because it's the one that I have shared with my teacher. So I'm just going to double tap on that. Back button. Leap create new search current grid leap final cancel save here button. And then um, I'm just going to swipe save file into right leap. until I get to save here. RP replay underscore file. Okay, and then you're still students still going to have to swipe back once to upload. Upload. And, button. and if you hit the upload button there, then um, the video will start uploading to Drive. Now it does take, you know, depending on the size of the video, let's say you want to give it a half hour or something potentially before it's going to be up in the Drive, but it, it doesn't take long and it's pretty streamlined. Um, so I'm just going to cancel. hit cancel here because I don't actually want to upload this video anywhere. Re photos. Um, but double tap to open. That is how you um, do screen recording via um, the uh, screen recording app that's built into every iPad um, with a student or as a teacher yourself using voiceover um, to stop the recording. Edit mode. So obviously the student's gonna have to stop the recording before they um, send it to you. Um, so just making sure that you know that, but I just couldn't stop the recording obviously, because I wanted you to be able to see what I was doing. So um, to stop the recording, I'm going to swipe back down. Camera. Oops. Control that second. center. Boop, boop. Airplane mode. Switch and then button. Selected. Screen recording. If I double button. tap here on the screen recording button. Double tap button. and hold to show more controls. 